How you doing? Let's go inside. I'm going to give you a tour of the greenhouse after I clean it up, okay? I just went down to my friend Bill's farm and checked on the honeybees because this warm weather makes me a little concerned. You, the idea is that in the winter the, you want your bees to be kind of cold and dry and they will slowly eat through their honey stores that you provided them and also some of the sugar syrup and the emergency sugar we put across the top. Now it's been so warm they're active in the winter and they need to eat more so they've been I think they've been eating all this stuff and I was proved right so I popped open the hives you could see how much of the dry sugar that they had taken up and I looked inside and there's still honey in the frames as well so I put two pollen patties protein pollen patties on the top of each hive because they're already laying eggs for spring now because it's warm I think and the protein will help them get through the late winter early spring which is the hardest part for bees because they're active and there's no outside food sources so we'll go with that I'm glad I got down there pop the tops. It was 50 degrees out here today, so that's why you can do that. Are you on Instagram? Um, I really like it. It's just kind of fun. I just Every day I'm like, boom, and I take a picture and I put it up for everybody. Uh, a lot of the Labradors and sometimes projects I'm working on, and then there's a picture of my favorite kind of cookies uh, from the bodega here as well, in case you were wondering about that. But check me out on Instagram. It's, uh, what is my Instagram name? Hold on. That would require me... Garden Fork. Just type in Garden Fork, search on Instagram, follow me. It'd be great to see, It'd be great to see you there. It's Sunday afternoon. Sorry. Lots going on here today. We drove up yesterday morning. There's 30 inches of snow in New York City in my little front yard, and up here is nothing, which kind of causes some problems. Uh, first of all, maple syrup season usually is about three weeks from now, and I heard on their radio that some people are already tapping their trees. Uh, in a minute here, we're going to go down the road and see if my neighbor has tapped his trees. I don't think I'm going to tap mine until next week, but I think next weekend we're going to have to start tapping because it's already warm. The frost is coming out of the ground, which is good and bad. It just kind of weirds me out that it's February. And we should have you know this much snow here and we have none. Something to think about there. I built this pallet pry bar. It's getting some really good responses. I was really, really happy with this. I actually just broke up some pallets the other day with that. Consider on the top bolt using a thicker diameter bolt because it's, I don't know if you can see it, but um, can you see that? This bolt is a little bent. Not a big deal, but a really cool tool. I'll link to all the videos in the show notes below here. Great comments on the pallet pry bar video. A couple of them I wanted to shout out to. One of them is the Grim Jester, and he says, I had zero interest in this, but looked anyway. I love how you included the failure and your solution. Every other do-it-yourself channel only shows how easy it is to get something done. The truth is that people need to expect things to go wrong and roll with it. And that is totally what Garden Fork is. So the Grim Jester, thank you. You get it. Um... You know, I like to show the dogs, I like to show what I'm doing running around with the quad or whatever, or, and mistakes happen, especially uh, failures like this, oops, and, you know, Garden Fork is the imperfect how-to, that's what I call it. There's a lot of TV out there that's like, oh, we just do it like this and it comes out perfect, and my life is never like that. Life is imperfect, and so is Garden Fork, so yeah, thank you for that. And Robert left this one. When I was reaming out the holes on the angle brackets on my drill press, I was just hand-holding the brackets on the drill press, and that is a bad thing. Clamp material down, then use the drill press, because that thing is like a, it's like a boomerang, man. It'll, it'll fly and cut your hand, bad thing. I just posted a, a tool bucket tour. Today on Garden Fork, the tool bucket tour. People are always asking me the kind of tools I use, and you can see the craziness of Garden Fork and Eric here. But I have a tool bucket that I lug around the city. Uh, I do small contracting jobs, and I also work on my own house. And I just thought I'd share that, and it, it, the response has been really good. I love this guy, D from Brooklyn, always leaving some fun comments, and he says, I was waiting for you to pull a Volkswagen out of there. He could go like, you know. <laughs> After about 10, 12 years, my raised beds are falling apart. So early spring, I already got some lumber here. 
new videos on how to build raised beds with some of the stuff I've learned recently. So that's coming up as well for you. I set up a game camera right where my kale, or the last of my kale is here. Because I want to see who's eating my kale. I, I know who it is, but it'd be just kind of fun to have some pictures of them eating that stuff there. Neat, you know? This is what we call a sugar bush. It's a bunch of pine trees that are all tubed together to tap for sap in the late winter, early spring. And you can see here that they have not drilled new tap holes for theirs yet. And I'll talk to the guy who's doing this, who lives down the road here. Um, so I think next weekend is probably when I'm gonna start tapping. The issue you run into is I could probably tap right now, it's Sunday, but I have to go back to the city for the week and it's gonna be 50 degrees here on Wednesday. So the sap that you're collecting, you need to keep it cold. If I collect it every day, I could keep it cold somewhere. But the sap's gonna sit in the barrels all week and it starts, it, people either call it going sour or going punky. Um, it just starts to mold. So it's a liquid with a little bit of sugar in it and it just starts to go bad. So uh, I'll do mine on Saturday and we'll make a video about it. camera operator just came home and she brought treats. All right, there you go. A little update on what's going on around here. Give me your questions or comments below. And by the way, I put out an email newsletter almost every week. There's a link below in the show notes if you want to sign up. It's just more Eric, kind of like me and the dogs, you know, stuff like that. Make it a great day. I'll see you later. What do you got there? What is that? Yeah. Who's happy?